everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm going to be painting a new game on Kickstarter at the moment. It's Wanted Earth by Shadow Squirrel Games. I've not played this game, I've just seen that the models look really cool and I wanted to get my hands on some so they were kind enough to send me them and I'm painting them in a tutorial right now for you. I've not played the game as I mentioned but I hoped painting the, the models would let you see what you might be able to do with it if you're interested in backing them. Uh, just as a word of warning, these are prototype models, so they, they'll be subject to change and hopefully even better quality than they are now. So I'm going to be painting Life Eye from the game. He's a half-human alien sort of ninja assassin by the sound of it, so he, he looks like a futuristic ninja to me. Um, I've primed him in black there because he's a mostly black model. I'm going to be starting the base coat using Claymore Blade, which is my lightest uh, silver that I use. And I've, I've changed the background for once, so... I thought with it being a black model and then have a black desk it might be very very difficult to see so I've changed it to my cutting board hopefully making it a little bit easier to see maybe maybe this is the better background in general let me know in the comments below if this this is better one thing I've noticed throughout the video is the focus is going in and out a little bit so I apologize for that but bear with it I'll fix it towards the end um, so I'm taking this this light silver and I'm just copying the card that you can see in the background and I'm just painting all all the bits of silver on this model. I think in hindsight, had I uh, had I known in, at the start that these are quite flat surfaces, so this is very very difficult to shade afterwards. So I try, I wanted it to be darker in a lot of places than than it is. And had I known, I would have painted it in the darkest silver I could find to begin with and highlighted it up to this this bright silver. So I'm using my detail brush here and I'm I'm just being slow and careful, as careful as I can be. These are quite thin lines. This model's not super small. I mean, uh, hopefully you can see that in my hand. It, it's quite large, the line, and I'm just using the detail brush. This isn't the insane detail brush. So it's, it's they're big enough, but it's quite, it's quite tricky to paint in, in all, all these lines, but I'm just taking my time and I, I made maybe one mistake on the whole model doing this silver. So just take your time with it. Um, yep, so he's got a mountain of silver. He's basically black and silver, so there's not a lot to to this, but it still takes a long time. I'm just painting in his boots here, so the top of his boots around the, his sort of ankle. And then, all, uh, well, as you can see on the card, you can't actually see his boots at all, so I'm just making it up, having a bit of a playtime myself here, doing whichever bits I think is best, just to give him a little bit more colour. I wanted to do as much in silver as I could just to make him as sort of interesting as I can. A lot of blacks just a little bit bland, so mixing it up with the silver makes him just that a bit more colourful on the table, I guess. Um, as, you, as you can see, um, I can't really see his belt in, in, the, in the artwork either, so I decided I'll paint this in silver as well. So just taking my time and adding a few little dashes along his belt. They're sort of a raised, raised area, so could have done this in any colour really, obviously. Once the game's released, if if you're that way inclined, do you know change the artwork, do do as you please. But I was just I like to stay as close to the artwork for you guys as possible, and then any changes you want to make, you guys can do as you please. Obviously, uh, so finally finished the silver, and I'm on to doing his sword now, um, which is a, a it looks like a laser sword. So I'm using dark green by Vallejo, and I just painted in his face there. As I said, he was a half human, half alien, and he looks like he's got a bit of a, a green face. So doing the same same colour on his sword as well. I'm just painting the base layer in in this very very dark green. It's quite watery. That took me three or four coats off of off of camera. So I'm going to be doing the the shade now. I'm using my Survivor wash, which is a black wash, and I was just showing that I've switched back up to the Regiment brush now, a, a thicker brush, and just applying this shade to all of those silver areas. That, and that's it. I'm not shading the black because it's already black, and I didn't bother with the green sword because it was my darkest green to begin with. And this is what I was saying. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's not take it. It's not sitting that well. I had to lay the model down in very specific ways to get any of the the, the tone to sit. So next I'm taking the dark green and livery green by Vallejo and I'm mixing that 50-50 and that's to start painting this laser effect on his sword, the sort of plasma sword that he's got. And then unfortunately my power went off. Never had a power cut before and it happened mid-video. So no power to the whole street, eight hours later, power again. So the lighting's changed a little bit because I'm having to paint this in the day now so it's less, a bit less consistent with the sun changing in and around the room. But I'm just showing the sword there hopefully so you could see where I'd got up to, I just finished what I was doing. So I'm gonna add more livery green to it now. So this is 
oh, so this is just neat livery green, sorry. So this is to paint a little bit further closer to the edge, just giving that effect that it's glowing sort of darkest in the center, getting lighter and lighter as you move to the, the outside of the sword. So painting them along the edge and then painting the very edge of the sword with quite a thick layer of paint just down the edge. And then gonna be taking the livery green and brain matte beige, the white. I'm gonna use the insane detail brush, mixing those two together, but about 10% of the green, 90% of the white. So it's almost a white, it's just got a, a green tint and I'm gonna be painting just down the very edge of the sword on both sides. So I'm applying, I'm getting some paint on the brush and applying it by, by the side of the brush. I'm just scraping it down both sides. I do this once or twice and that and blending it in at the bottom there. Hopefully you can see that rubbing a little bit off, just trying to get the blend right. And that's the sword finished and it's got quite a nice glow effect, which we'll see at the end. So I'm taking a Necromancer's Cloak by the Army Painter here. This is a, this is the dark grey and this is going to be highlighting up all black on the model, some the majority of the model really, and um, all of his cloak and trousers and the rest of the non-silvery bits of his boot. So I'm using the uh, regiment brush, so I'm applying quite a, a lot to this. I've scraped most of the paint off, I, I think you saw at the beginning I scraped it onto my thumb and I'm just sort of almost dry brushing it but there's there's enough paint that it's taking and I'm just painting on this, this on all of the raised areas. Um, it's quite close to black uh, but in the right light you, you can see the difference. I fact, think highlighting a black model is quite difficult um, you've got you've got to highlight it up without making it grey so staying as close to it as I can so once that's done taking Necromancer's Cloak and Filthy Suit I'm going to take my dry brush mixing those two together 50-50 so I'm making a lighter version of that Necromancer's Cloak and then I'm going to dry brush it across it so I'm just showing you I've got most of the paint off and even now I'm not happy I'm still taking some more off once you're at that sort of level I'm going to very lightly stroke that across the whole model uh, and this is going to catch all of the raised parts of, of, of the black. So it's going to catch all of his fingers, all the ridges in his fingers on, on his hands. It's going to catch a bunch of his muscles. It's going to catch the riffles along his top and it, the muscles on his legs as well. I've just noticed the, the problem, as I, as I mentioned, of going in and out of focus. So I'm going to try and fix that now. Taking the card away didn't help. So now I'm going to try flipping the board over and just see if we can have a plain green background if that if that helps us. I just left that in the video just for continuity sake and I mean you can comment as well below which do you think is better I'm watching this with you to some extent uh, I, I noticed at the time it was flicking in and out so let's see if this is this is better now I certainly looked it straight away so after the finished dry brushing I'm taking my detail brush and I'm taking that 50-50 that mix of Necromancer's Cloak and Filthy Suit and I'm just going to paint on the tips of all of those ridges I spoke of all of those muscles um, and his shoulder pads I'm just going to make sure I'm catching this paint on there as though the light's hitting around the rim of those shoulder pads I'm going to do the similar on, on his hood make sure I've painted on all those riffles catch the peak at the back and the peak at the front of his of his hood. So last highlight here is the Claymore blade. So after I've after I shaded it with that wash, I'm just going to take the detail brush and the Claymore blade again and go around all the edges of of, of the original Claymore blade. So I'm just giving it that sort of uh, dingy look with the wash, and then I'm highlighting up the edges as the light's reflecting off of it. So around this hood, uh, painting back in it all the. The two bits of silver on his shoulder pads there because that 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 there the wash did take very well so it made it almost black so painting those back in and then along his um his hood i'm just painting the edges of all of those lines again same same just the edges on his on his wrist guards there and actually at the time i didn't notice because i was applying the shade multiple times and it never looked like it was affecting it but painting back in the highlight now i can see it's it's actually worked and it's actually looking very very good. So same along the bottom of his cloak, and then this is this is up 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 to the painter really which parts you highlight on the boots. I'm going to shine up the whole front of it and just a little bit on well, along the edges around the the back and sides. Hopefully you can see that there. Just catching those bits on his ankles once more, and then on his on his belt I've switched down to the insane detail brush, and I'm just catching sort of a thin line down the middle, and that's that's the highlighting done. So next I'm just going to take a bit of gloss, 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 gloss varnish and a paintbrush that I don't love that much and I'm just going to gloss up that plasma sword, give it a sort of shine effect. I'm going to varnish the whole model afterwards but shine it first and I'll shine it again afterwards. And we're finished. An hour and six minutes, not including the eight hour power cut but 
that's pretty good. I was trying to do this model quickly. It is on Kickstarter at the moment, so I wanted to get it out and get this tutorial up as fast as I could. So apologies if it's not my best work, but I'm still very, very happy with it. And don't forget, this, this is a, um, a prototype uh, model at the moment, so the model's hopefully going to be better by the final version. And that, that's it nice and close, so you could see. And then I thought I'd hold it at a more realistic distance that you'd be playing from. This is sort of a foot away from the camera now. I think it looks it looks really good at that distance. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let me know what you think about the game from Kickstarter. And thank you all very much for watching.